This is the Benjamin. or taxis. Many of these establishments tune in to broadcasting stations inadvertently surrendering their moods and thoughts to the programming and yours by extension, isn't it? Yeah. Although the influence may be invisible, our minds are susceptible to the power of exposure and suggestion. So here you're talking about just harnessing our energies and being in control and taking charge of our energies. Tell us a little more about that. When, 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 when there's that message in the air that is always saying women are the same. Women are the same. Yeah. <laughs> Men are dogs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and it, it's just there. It's just there, you know? Yeah. There was that, uh, this ghetto radio. There's some radios that are based on the culture of the ghetto. Uh-huh. So you get homeboys or something like that. Yeah. So the language they'll bring is, is from the inner core. Yes. And, and, uh, there's a generation that clicks with that, other yeah. businesses, because I want to appeal to those people. They play that. Yeah. The message here is this. You should be conscious of what you're listening repeatedly. Yeah. The generation of our fathers would carry radios on the bicycle, put the radio on the bed, put the radio next to the seat, yes. put the radio everywhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they're being carried by the radio, by yeah. the radio, by the radio. Yes. Now you see why they did not go any far. Years mm -hmm. go. And you don't see progress. But it's not books that are next to their life. Oh my goodness. It, it, it's not mentorship conferences. It's not content that can challenge you. No problem with the radio. Mm. But why should it be with you 24-7? Also the radio, you don't get to handpick what you listen to. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they, 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 they have it there. Yeah. Back then there was also the TV. So that the remote, they swallow. No problem watching news. Yeah. But why are you obsessed? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You should love things, but they should not have you. You should possess them. They mm -hmm. should not possess you. Mm -hmm. You should have control of the direction of your mental feed. The same way your, 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 your social media has a timeline and feed. Yes. Your mind. Yes. Oh. <laughs> My mind also has a timeline? <laughs> yes. <laughs> per hour, that day, what was oh, fed there, what oh. was posted there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are so ignorant of that. So we are exposing to everything, to everything. And our father-in-law is asking, why do you find a grisly ro road accident full of pain and trauma? You are putting it on your timeline. You are yeah. ingesting it. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, we go there. We want to see yes, the details. You know, yeah. the accident is on the road that is going this way. But this road that is going this way has congestion. <laughs> because people are stopping to watch. It's not even to help. <laughs> to watch. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. To say... You should be conscious about what is posting on your timeline, on your timeline. Your mood is an average of the things that you're posting there, you're allowing there. Your eyes, the first look, we said, may be innocent, but mm -hmm. the second look is really conscious. Yes. Once you become aware of what that is, you cannot determine whether you want to take it in. Uh, can I throw in something? Yes. So if I pass a grisly road accident, and of course we're using that as, as an example, yes. and everyone is slowing down, I'm also curious, what, what is the conscious best practice thing to Once do? Once you become aware of what it is, move on. Do not let it get in. That trauma, you may never, you know, when you are, when you, when you are conscious and you're a person who, who feels things. Yeah. Do you want to feel that? No. <laughs> I, no, I don't want to feel it. And, and I was asking, those horrible sights, how will you ever get them out of your, your mind? Gosh, can I tell you something I've yes. just remembered? Yes. I was walking to, where was I going? I think to work? No, to church on a Sunday. I'm not 100% sure where I was going, but I was going somewhere. Yes. And so something happened at a junction in the estate. And people came from nowhere. There was all of a sudden a large crowd of people. Mm -hmm. And it made me realize all these people had nothing they were doing. They were not going anywhere. 
That is the problem now. Now you get why, as a group, we still make time. Yeah. <laughs> and we have so much energy for politics. No problem with politics and participating in your vote or sounding your voice. Yeah. But it should not become your preoccupation. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that is full in your system. Yeah. And every day you have to follow this, follow the other. Yeah. Again, we said what influences your life more is not in your intelligence, it's not even how sharp you are, it's your environment. Yes, that's that you say that in this book, actually. Yes. yes. Your environment influences you more than your intelligence. Yes. More than your intentions. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what you really wanted. Yeah. <laughs> what you're really capable of. Yes. What you surround yourself in with gets into you. That's true. Gets into you. That's true. Environment is both physical and mental. Mm. Energetic. <laughs> mm. as well as you know uh, concrete there's what you can feel there's mm. a chair here there's another one here but the things you're tuning in you're allowing in yeah you're allowing in mm. are influencing how your life is turning out and mm. the consequence of that is you can remain poor by being among poor people <laughs> <laughs> so much that the poor thinking is common. Science has proved mm -hmm. that if you just sit next to a high performer without even talking to them, you yeah. outperform yourself 15%. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just being close. Yeah. Just seeing how they're doing things influences your thinking. Yeah. And when you sit next to poor performers, underperformers, you underperform by 30%, double the drop. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> like the drop. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> because when they're not really stretching, when they're not really moving. Yeah. When they're not really going. Yeah. When you just put as more effort you look outstanding. Oh. That's why bright kids disappear in the villages when they have no competition. Oh. They keep coming number one, number one, and you just stop at number one. What's your grade? What are you capable of? You should always mm. check the grade and what the child is capable of. Mm. Even if they're number one, is there room for improvement? Are they relaxing because they are leading? In marathons, in, in athletics, sometimes they can't put all the players in one round, in one, in one, in one go. Mm -hmm. So they split you in groups, group A, group B, group C. Mm -hmm. But they are comparing the times you ran. Yes. If your group was slow and you became comfortable because you are ahead of the group, you are number one, you may find that you are the number three of the other group is ahead of you. Yes. You are disqualified although you are number one in this batch. Yes. So those who understand, check the time. They don't check who they are with. Ah. Sometimes your village is slow. Yes. Your family is slow. Yes. Your estate is slow. <laughs> compared to elsewhere yeah and i told you about a guy i like mm -hmm. but his story is very inspiring because he was overshadowed by his countryman who was a giant mm -hmm. <laughs> he was running at the same season with a very mighty runner mm, yes. and they come from the same country yes this guy was fully capable of getting gold he started getting weird awards <laughs> <laughs> yeah Johan Black would run and get silver, and then he's given a funny record saying, This is the fastest time never to get gold. <laughs> yeah, it's the so, fastest number two. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, because the, uh, the, unfortunately, your countryman is still ahead of you. So, yeah. so one time, as fate would have it, that mm -hmm. countryman committed a foul, a false start, disqualified. Yes. Johan got the only gold. <laughs> <laughs> I like his story because he had no hope. Yeah. Of beating this guy. <laughs> but he kept showing up. <laughs> the most sensational runs to this day uh, are the relays where him and his country, those, w w where they were doing it themselves now. Mm. When they were left to do their thing, they are handing batons. They would beat USA. It was just so, yeah, you were just watching it. Yeah. Because these are stars in their prime. Yeah. collaborating. I'm yeah. saying this point to say, sometimes you don't have... Um, just being close to that guy, and I strongly believe mm -hmm. if, if Bolt was not there, mm -hmm. Blake might not have gone that far. Oh. It's having been close to a high performer Competition. that stretched him, yes. stretched, <laughs> stretched. Right. But he had a very strong will to keep going, mm -hmm. although the hopes are very dim. Mm -hmm. Very strong willpower. Mm -hmm. You really must keep showing up. The point here is to say you, 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 you should be careful that what you are taking into the flow of your life and your day and your moment. Remember the quote, if you love life, take care of time, for that's the stuff life is made of. Mm. Every hour, yes. <laughs> every moment, yes. that's your life. Yeah. <laughs> and they will summarize your life in how much years you had. Mm. And remember, it's not that many years in your life. Yeah. It's the number of life in your years. It's not the <laughs> number of years in your life. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the amount of life. life in your years. Yes. 
up to get a copy of this book you can find it on benjaminzuluglobal.com and that's also a, a one-stop shop for all of benjamin's products so you can find his podcasts there have you put your podcast yes we are putting them <laughs> <laughs> and his videos and you can book a session with him if you want a private session with him as well and you can also get one or all of these books um so and you can also talk to him there interact with him directly from there so benjaminzuluglobal.com that said today you want to tell us how to date when you're a clever woman when i saw that topic the first thing i wondered was am i a clever woman <laughs> what what is that what do you mean clever woman <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Hope I am. <laughs> yeah we are saying clever means wise okay calculating women have to be clever because they're not allowed to be forceful they're not allowed to be that outgoing yes. they're, not allowed, they're not allowed to show their plans Okay. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will sabotage it. Yes. <laughs> Somebody will, bra will brand it badly. Uh -huh. The first thing you do, how to date when you're a clever woman, is to gain independence from societal limits. Uh -huh. Develop an independent mind. Uh -huh. This may not look directly related to dating, uh -huh. but I'll tell you why. The men do experience societal pressure to bring grandkids. Uh -huh. To show and just to bring somebody. We also experience that pressure. You do, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You get all these proposals, there's this girl. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But the pressure women experience is on a, you know, on a new level. Yeah. People, ha people have something to say about how old the girl is. Yeah. They are concerned when you're nearing that and you're not showing some something. I know. I'm like, that's not even so They far. come for your graduation and they're saying after this, you want the next one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Society has so much to say about women. If a guy buys a car when he's single, he's progressive. A lady buys a car when she's single, she's too independent. <laughs> if I call my dad to say, I saw this plot, go for it, my son. If you call your dad to say you saw this plot, now uh, those things should come later. Who will marry you when you start? Mama building a house. A house? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, society has so much to say about the woman's path of life mm -hmm. that no woman can marry right, can date right, can choose right, can build her family on the right energy level when yeah. she's still under such societal confinement. Yeah, the first rule you must take away a detour away from them, and the first thing you're going to do is to unlearn their conditioning. There are some things about culture that you need. They told you your roots or how you be, that sense of belonging, that's where you came from. There are things about our culture that we need. But there are things about them that you're, not, you're going to discard immediately. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to make you controllable and to follow, to follow a template mm -hmm. that makes you within reach. Mm. Makes you uh, controllable. Makes you, you don't make them uncomfortable. Mm. Let's revisit the things society does not want you to have. Mm -hmm. Happiness. <laughs> they don't care that you are happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't care. Yeah. Society does not want you to grow. When you grow, you get better. You are getting out of hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and society does not want you to self-determine. Wait, out of whose hand? Who? Out of that, whose that, hand? That, that, that group. That group setting. That group setting. Which group? My dad? This is your my... sister. This is our sister. This is our girl. This is my niece. That's my nephew. Just where they want to... That, that, that group think. That group thing is the dominant thing. Why do they want me there? For what? What am I serving? That because when you are... You see, from the time you are a child, people want to see you that way. Want to see you that, They don't want to see you getting away and doing your life. They would like to get money from you, get your time from you, get oh. your advice from you, get everything you have for free, access you what they want, and send you here, serve them. You know, my daughter is coming. Take her to school. My son is coming. Do, do that. When oh. you're in the city, become their servant. Okay, is that like, um, do, are, we, uh, are we unconsciously reaching for just being an enmeshed family? Is that what they want? Yes, people are generally selfish. They want how you can help them. Okay. And many of it is just egotistical, it's not even material. Just you not to challenge them by doing things they do oh, not do. Oh, okay. Going to lengths they do not go. Oh, that's why some people will say, we don't do that yes, here. Yes, yes. 
don't, don't challenge how they have organized the world. They have mm. told people this is a far you can go. Some of them wanted to maintain petty dominance, that they were the first only to buy a car. Oh. They only to go this far. <laughs> <laughs> this talented, this beautiful. Yeah. Vain things. Okay. And, and, and you're making them uncomfortable when you surpass. Oh, I have such a good example. Yes. You know, I think it really bothers some mm. academicians who mm. are very advanced. Yeah. When people who are less advanced mm. become more financially successful. Yes. And you have seen professors who, who obstruct you from passing. Yeah. You're doing your papers, they keep frustrating you. Yes. They keep frustrating you. They yes. don't want the club of professors to grow. They want ah. to, to remain dominant. Okay. They just want petty dominance. All right. So, and, and, and there's a time we talked about wealth and academics, and we said they don't always go together. Mm. Jack Ma, that yes. wealthy guy, yes. said he goes to universities and professors are lining to give, to ask for funding for this and the other. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And says, I am not a professor. I'm, there's no problem becoming a professor. I'm just saying, balance your life. You're yeah. saying, learn finances. So that you don't have all this... PhDs that all this, and you cannot finance a small thing for yourself. Yeah. You cannot do your, your project. You can't, yeah. you can't move yourself forward, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you're saying the one thing you need is to take control of the progression of your goals. You should marry when you feel like it's time for it. Not because somebody wants it. Somebody, they start demanding for grandchild. My grandma was telling me she was dying, and I should bring my grandchild. Yeah. How do you tell a dying person to just die? No problem. They told you they die. Is that a, a true story of yes. your life? Yes. Oh! That's what they always tell you that. <laughs> Please, I'm dying. I'm doing grand Will you tell them that problem? Die? No, 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 you can't. You can't tell them. <laughs> so, mm. you just beat about the bush. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh. a, to beat about the bush. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. You, I am already a grandchild to my grandma. Yeah. So, she wants the great grandchild <laughs> to fulfill her that i had this many <laughs> i saw my language <laughs> and so, so. And yeah. it becomes a thing that's how they talk but in those days achievement marriage was the achievement they were not going fine like they were not doing anything else yeah and so it appears like now for them that was the apex and they had to see you reach the apex you know mm. they could be well meaning but their defini definition of success is very different from yours. Yeah. If you do not s uh, detach yourself from what society has determined you should do, mm. you'll be limited to a very small space. If there is a, a, a benediction, in the book of Psalms says, He has set me in a large place. Mm -hmm. Space is part of growth. Mm -hmm. You know you're growing when you get away from that village thinking. That commu small community thinking. Mm. Stop being local and become global. You start thinking far. Yeah. Start looking what others have done. Yes. Some of the most astounding architectural designs mm -hmm. were designed by a lady. Mm -hmm. I think she was called Zaha Habib. Mm -hmm. She was, I think, Palestinian British, mm -hmm. coming from a Muslim culture mm -hmm. where the woman has to fight main battles mm -hmm. to self determine. So she went to a first world country, combined the two cities, and really mm. <laughs> she be stopped being local to become yeah. global. Mm. And she designed um, structures that look like they, are, they have life. She didn't want the boxes people copy. Yeah. She didn't want the four corners. <laughs> she yeah. wanted something. Mm. And she revolutionized. And she didn't care whether she was winning or what. The first woman to do this. I'm the, I'm the only of my type. Let mm. me do my thing. Mm -mm -mm. She just did her thing. Yeah. So this is to say, I want you to lift yourself from there. That lifting, as we shall see in that point, is sometimes physical. Mm -hmm. Sometimes oh. go to new places and sit there. Many of us travel when we have appointments. Mm -hmm. Travel because now you have an appointment with another area you want to familiarize with. Mm -hmm. When you want to move to a neighborhood, what do you do? You run no matter. Mm. Check the yeah. prices. You're yeah. considering it. Yeah. And you're not telling everybody what you're thinking because it's not quite concrete yet. Yeah. It's just a thought. Yes. <laughs> a thought. Yes. yes. When you start exploring the potential of upgrading a job, you check those applications, check yeah. th those companies, check. Sometimes you pay a visit, just research around, just watch. Yeah. That's what you do with the new level you want to go with your life. Mm. If you don't do this, you will marry on a small level. Mm. And the day that starring and instinct to go up will, 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 will become unbearable. You'll be forced to leave that marriage, mm. or it becomes living dead, just mm. housemates. Yes. <laughs> to serve a function. 
yes, a superficial shell yes. that has no life, yes. which becomes a confinement, a prison, really, because it stops you from getting what you should be getting and doesn't give you what you should be getting. True. <laughs> True. You know, yeah. the first thing is mental liberty. Where do you get mental liberty? Listen to liberal thinkers. Remember, you're supposed to have an open mind, but you don't open it until your brains fall out. You're supposed to be open <laughs> to new ideas, but don't lose uh -huh. your own values. Don't okay. lose your own principles. Okay. Don't lose your grounding. We say it, we're not throwing away culture yeah. altogether. No. Mm. We are saying there are things about culture that give us belonging mm. and a sense of roots. That's where I came from. Right. In fact, the progression of how far you've come is part of the history. Yeah. You don't come from the air. Yeah. <laughs> you come from somewhere. Mm. So you needed to understand the limits. Else you can help others. You can actually show others the way. Yes. You can combine the belonging and the soaring. That's how you become authentic. Wow. You become authentic when you belong somewhere and you've also soared very high. When you tell us the combination, we see now you are real, you are human, you are relatable. Me too. I have those kind of things to deal with. And I need to. I can see where I can go. That's how you become real. Don't deny your roots. That is so complex. Why are you burying your name? Why are you hiding where you come from? Picking all this, looking like and changing your skin and looking like you come from the other side. Ah. You look inauthentic. That inspire me when I can't relate with you. <laughs> relate with me. Yeah. I really believe in Africa. Carry your African name with you. Is that like someone who soared and almost lost his belonging, the late Michael Jackson? Now you see how you become homeless emotionally. Yeah. How you become mentally misplaced. Yeah. Don't change your body tone. Don't change anything, Lily. Just be you. Right. <laughs> be you. <Yeah. laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, that guy who ran J.C. Owen, who, who ran when Hitler was watching the, the athletics and he convinced people. He was convinced that black people were lesser humans. Mm. And J.C. Owens won the race. And Hitler had to quit watching because somebody is challenging mm. his notions. Yeah. The guy remained black and won. Remain yourself and win. <laughs> Remain yourself and win. Technical question. Yes. Do you blame the athletes who go to other countries and either change their nationality or get dual nationality? That's economic, my friend. Build yourself financially. Build your family. If they're paying better, your country is not paying. Go. <laughs> All right. What's the point? Got it. Don't die poor trying to be below. I don't know to who. Okay. If they offer you millions, pick it. Hey. <laughs> go build a family. Go, go live your life. Okay. <laughs> this is your talent. The country didn't build the gift. You built it. You woke up at night. You build this skill. They are paying better. Go tomorrow, guys. I can show up on the show. Somebody in America identified me. Green up yeah, 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 yeah. All the best. <laughs> go enjoy your life. You only have one run. Do it. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yes. And on that point, I saw a funny comic of that sense. Yeah. Because they, they show the, 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 the American physics team that had beaten the Chinese physics team. But all the American physics team was Chinese people. Oh. <laughs> They're holding the American flag. <laughs> this is American team that has beaten the Chinese yeah. people. <laughs> but all of them are Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> it's the money. No. Oh. It, it, yes, exactly. You mm. calculate your goals. Mm. If they are paying better there, my friend. <laughs> Go <to> America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you scale up, and sometimes the scaling is physical movement. Okay. All right. Without overlaboring that point, remember we said sometimes you are n the new you requires new people, new places. Right. The new you requires new people, people and new, new places. places. Sometimes you disappear from the king's folk or new you just to set your tent larger in a larger space. Right. That's the time when the people get wealthy, they leave the inner city, they just go outside. Mm. Place they can commute, they can, but there are some in leafy, quiet places they can imagine big ideas. Mm. They don't have noise and all that. Mm. They don't mind the cost of living there, yeah. because what they're earning by living there is it's, it's sensible, it makes sense. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right? Yeah. The second thing you shall do when you're a clever woman is to turn on your light. This is a problem because nobody prepares the women at what point to let their beauty be. Woo! You're just told to turn down, turn down, don't tempt men, don't attract boys, you get pregnant, as if you come by mosquito bite, <laughs> you try to look beautiful, you get pregnant. <laughs> pregnant does not come by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, don't fear. <laughs> so, the thing is to say, there's a point at which you should now reach the peak of your beauty. Okay. There's a point at which you should ascend the podium mm -hmm. and turn on your flower. Mm. Let it blossom. Okay. The flowering comes before the fruit. Mm. It's the flowering that brings the change of seasons. Mm. That's where 
the, the seed is the pollen. That's where the nectar, that's where the sweet, that's where the fragrance is. Yes. That's when the season, that's when you hear the bees humming in the air. Mm. <laughs> that's when you see the fragrance. And those who come from those trees that flower at the same time. Yeah. You even remember the moods and the associations of what was happening in your life at that time. Yeah. <laughs> when that fragrance was in the air. Yeah. When bees were busy. <laughs> Do you remember that part? Yeah. I come from a community where honey is very, um, we, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, the honey is in the supermarkets here in our stores. Yeah, it's fake. Because yeah. honey should not be one color. It changes color depending on what season, which tree was in season. Oh. The mango tree will have something, uh, you know, um, yellowish orange or something like that. When, oh. already, when the mango trees are just in season. The honey that will come next. <laughs> be kind of yellowish. Really? Then the acacia will be very clear, almost like water. Oh. <laughs> you know, the one you have here is only one variant. That okay. was a cocktail mm. of another season when many, when many flowers were in season. Mm. But the honey should not be uniform. Okay. <laughs> it should not be uniform. I had no idea. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's one that is very clear and I'm still looking for it. Why is it? Because it's contaminated. <laughs> They're not seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> They're adding funny things. <laughs> Raw sugar, I don't know what. <laughs> When you look at the forehead, the one that is sincere, there's one from Australia. Yes. None of it is very clear. Ah. It's, they have not tampered with it. Okay. <laughs> they, and it varies. The next batch, the, the, the color is different because the flower was different. Okay. The bee is authentic. It's you who are doing funny things. <laughs> <laughs> the bee has done its work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yes, it varies. Okay. You know it's legit. Yeah. When the color is changing the tree that okay. was in season. Right. The next thing the woman has to do is to shine on her light. How do you shine your light? There should be a point when you study yourself, you self-analyze, you research how your body looks like, what would fit on it, which shoe, which cloth, which shade, which feel. There should be a period. There before you've been doing it haphazardly. Mm. Now do it systematically to mm -hmm. turn on your light. Mm. And we said, you know you're turning on your light when you're turning heads. When the heads oh. are not turning, go back. <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> what does that mean, turning heads? Attract attention. Men respond. You're not trying to lure or seduce. Mm -hmm. This is your season for being in the dating. Mm -hmm. If you continue looking like the other married and settled women, nobody will ever see you. Mm -hmm. Nobody will ever notice. Gentlemen do to offend by talking to people who are, who are not interested. Okay. When you dress for the season, does not mean you are immodest. You shall be modest, mm -hmm. but shining. Mm. Your beauty should shine. Okay. She bring the romantic air. She bring the girl. She be at ease. Again, don't dress very well, then you look very sad. Very serious. Ah. You look awkward. Or angry. <laughs> you know? And all this. Just no. Yeah. Don't look uneasy. She okay. like you at ease. Yeah. You're at peace. Yeah. When men are searching for wife, you're also searching for peace. Mm -hmm. Searching for a peaceful home. Yes. <laughs> the environment yes. at home. She not look like you're waiting to explode. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, like don't touch her, don't touch her. <laughs> you know, yeah. and you should be at ease and process your life. Okay. This part of turning on your light also is psychological. You should, you should revisit and unpack stresses and pains that has been visited on your life when you are the masses of caregivers and society and everybody else. Mm. You'll be handled by other people. This may be the first time you are beginning to be by yourself. Mm. Do yourself a favor always and do the servicing of your psychological being. Checking which wound, which forgiveness, which heart, which, 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 which. Sometimes you carry offenses. People offended you and the, 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 the business and when you remember you still feel angry. Yeah. <laughs> genuine offenses. Genuine. Yeah. Genuine wrong, wrong, wrong doing. Uh-huh. Somebody betrayed you. Somebody yeah. said wrong things, disappeared with your money. Yeah. Somebody delayed you. Campaigned against your promotion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some things are genuinely offensive. Mm -hmm. When you come to a place where you're supposed to beam like a girl, but you're still carrying so much offenses, to weigh you down. The last thing you should do is to begin your searching trips. Women are told to search, but they're not told how to search. One thing is to, go, to do trips. Mm. Hey. <laughs> uh -huh. And you I'm using the term trip to say to move from your small operational environment, mm -hmm. the triangle you've been living in mm -hmm. of work home, work home, occasionally church, work home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love, I'm a big fan of that triangle. I'm the most affected when you said we should stop. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. So I'm using that trip to invite yeah. you to go for that Russia in Nyeri. Yes. To go for that, get together some place in Mass Island. Yes. 
to because weekends you are tired and you are used to just closing in and resting. Mm. Redefine resting to mean another activity that gives you energy, not sleeping. Okay. Or <laughs> are you know Netflix is the end of us. <laughs> <laughs> we almost you know? just rush home to get into that couch and so set time for going outside your normal environment okay. and look for any flimsy excuse to accompany people. All right. What that does is it shows you another life, uh -huh. shows you to other people. Mm. Uh, other people don't move because they don't assign a budget. I want you to assign a budget for traveling, mm. for moving around. The best date is when you're not just seated on a coffee and people are pretending and saying yes. Travel. People can pretend throughout the day. Yes. <laughs> when you go with a person, you get to see life yeah. happening. They're answering this and the other one. Yeah. <laughs> you get to see them doing life. Yeah. Set aside a budget for traveling. Let there be an allowance in your finances. And as much as 30%, or just pay the bare minimum and the rest set, set aside. Stop carrying your, your extended family now. Stop paying for everybody else now. You should be now the one investing to become a family person yourself. Mm -hmm. and one of it is have that budget where when people are contributing to go for this mountain hiking, you, you go, whatever fun, whatever mm -hmm. fun means for you, yeah. whatever social engagement means for you, Set, out, set aside money for the trips. Yeah. Again, three things the woman who is clever does when the time of dating comes. Mm -hmm. She dissociates from the mental confinement of society, gets her mental independence mm -hmm. to think alone, to yes. think what kind of marriage, what marriage means to her, what happiness, what life means to her. Number mm -hmm. two, she brings up her like the girl. She shines her, becomes now pretty and yes. visible. Yes. And number three, she begins to move out. She moves. Right. Uh -huh. Just begin to move. Yes. If you do those things, dating will almost be falling into place by itself. Wow. You'll be meeting people, I'm liking how you look, how free thinker you are, how uncontrolled. You are disciplined and stable, but you're not confined by family. Yes. That you must do the marry within this tribe and you know marry a man with this kind of money and <laughs> you know yeah. get things done by this time and you regard them but you're not controlled by them. Yes. What a wonderful show that was. If you're in that dating period and, and you're doing what Benjamin is saying, please tell us in the comments how it's going for you. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next episode. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome all viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart mothers. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, Better family life, better